Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 of maths which is related to the ANOVA and uh, there are three topics here one way ANOVA, two ANOVA and Latin square design so we'll be discussing the question from these three ones and uh, please do like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this without wasting more time let's get started so I'll be discussing one question for each okay so it should be clear uh, the same formula will be applied for every type of question so see here the first topic is the one way ANOVA here a manufacturing machine has purchased Three new machines. How many machines are there? Three new machines. Okay, of different brands and wishes to determine whether one of them is faster than the other in producing a certain output. Okay, five hourly productions are obtained. How many productions? Five hourly uh, production are obtained from each uh, of them, and uh, those are given below. So the three machines are A, B, and C, and the five hourly productions are hour one, hour two, hour three, hour four, and hour five. Okay, so these values are given. Use ANOVA and determine if the machines are significantly different from their mean speed. And we have been given 5% and F value also we have been given. Now we have to calculate another F value and we have to compare it with this F value. Okay. What's our task? You have to find out the F value and compare with this F value. Okay. Now initially we will be assuming a hypothesis. Okay. So see here what we have been asked. Determine if the machines are significantly different in their mean speed. Significantly different is the hypothesis which you have to determine or not. We have to take the reverse of this as true okay reverse of this is all the means are same okay here they have are significantly different we will take the hypothesis as significantly same now after that you will be writing the x values here x1 x2 and x3 the same values add up all of them and write the answers here after that you have to find few things okay capital n is the total number of uh, terms here the total number of terms are 15 here right 15 observations are there so capital n will be 15 small n1 n2 and n3 will be equal to 5 because this is 5 in each case okay after that you have to find out the value of t t is nothing but the summation of x1 plus summation of x2 plus summation of x3 which is nothing but summation of x1 is this one x2 is this one x3 is this one add up all of them you will be getting one answer this is capital t now you have to find out the correction factor which is cf cf is t square by n okay t value you have got square it divided by the capital n capital n is 15 we will be getting 15360 after that you have to calculate ssc and sst okay what is ssc summation of x1 whole square by n1 summation of x2 whole square by n2 summation of x3 whole square by n3 minus cf we have the values of x1 summation x2 summation x3 summation right these three these three values are 160 185 and 135 so square them and divided by 5 we'll be getting the values and subtract it with the cf which we have found 15360 now we have got the value of ssc same we will calculate sst also but in sst we have to calculate the summation of x1 square not x1 uh, whole square it is a summation of x1 square so what does this mean this means that what you have to do is you have to calculate the square of this plus square of this plus square of this plus square of this plus square of this that answer which you get that you will be writing here okay that will be 5226 like that for x2 and x3 also minus this one cf now we've got the value of ssc and we have got the value of sst calculate the value of sse how do we do that sst minus ssc so we will do that we'll get a value of ssc also now all this data will put into the table very simple we'll put this value into the table here we have five uh, columns first column is source of variation here we'll be having between samples error and total okay and here we have sum of squares the ss values we have calculated degrees of freedom will calculate mean squares will calculate by dividing these two these two and these two we will get the mean values f ratio will get by dividing the mean values here msc divided by msc now one by one between the samples you will have ssc error we will have sse total we will have sst okay easily you can remember e for error and t for total and the remaining one is ssc values will be putting here 250 200 and 450 degrees of freedom k what is k how many observations were there three machines were there so k minus one there will be 2 n minus k 12 n minus 1 14 okay done degrees of freedom after that mean square divide ssc by k minus 1 divide ssc by n minus k divide sst by n minus 1 we'll be getting three values here first value second value and uh this just the two values so we will be dividing ssc by n minus k and ssc by uh k minus 1 okay these two divide will will be doing we'll get 125 and 50 by 3 now msc we have got msc we have got msc divided by mse 
we will be getting 7.5. This is the F value which we have calculated. Now, the F calculated is 7.5. F which they had given was 3.9. We have got a greater value. Whenever we get a greater value, we have to reject the hypothesis. That's all. Okay. Second one is two-way ANOVA. Here, set up an ANOVA table for the following two-way design. They have given two-way design. Also, we will be having um, two type of data present here. Okay, so in that way, we will be able to identify if it is two-way or one-way. Usually, they will give here. Okay, design results are provided. Uh, accurate production of data of wheat in metric ton. Now, see, A, B, C is given, and the variety of fertilizer is also given. Previously, it was just hours, right? Hour, hour one, hour two, hour three, hour four. But here it is different kind of fertilizer, W fertilizer, X fertilizer, Y fertilizer and Z fertilizer. This is a different type and this is also a different type here. Two types are there, the variety of fertilizer and the production per acre for three different weeds. Okay, so you have to take two way here. Okay, now see. Also state if the variety of difference is significant at this level, F, uh, also two F values will be given. So it can identify if it is uh, one way or two way. Okay. Now, the first step is write down the same data here, the data which is given here 655754333874. Here, four rows are there and three columns are there. Uh, so, we'll be writing the same thing here. So, uh, just forget this one R1, R2, R3, C1, and all. We'll be writing these things here 655754333874. After that, mark it as A1, A2, A3, A4, B1 to B4, C1 to C4. Then, after that, find out this sum, write it as T4. Okay, actually, we'll start from here. T1, the summation of this. T2, the summation of this. T3, the summation of this. Similarly, the summation of this is T4, T5, T6, T7. After that, add up this one or add up this one, you'll get the same answer, which is 60. This is capital T value. Now, you have to first calculate CF as in the previous one also, T square by N. We'll be getting N value as 12. Total number of observations here are 12. So, it will be 300. Next is SSC calculated using this formula T1 square by 4, T2 square by 4, T3 square by 4. T1 is this, T2 is this, T3 is this. Square them up and divide by 4 and minus CF. So we'll be getting the value 8. Same we calculate SSR also. For the SSR, we'll be doing this one T4 square plus T5 square plus T6 square plus T7 square minus C, CF. Uh, and uh, here divide by 3. Why you have taken it as 3? Because it is having the three uh, columns present first second third column here it was four call uh, rows so we will be taking it as four divide in the division okay now we'll get another value here 18 so ssc we have got ssr we have got have calculate sst sst is a a i square plus b i square plus c i square okay what is a i square a i square is nothing but a one square plus a two square plus a three square plus a four square so 6 square plus 7 square plus 3 square plus 8 square that answer and plus 5 square plus 5 square plus 3 square plus 7 square plus 5 square plus 4 square plus 3 square plus 4 square all that answer you will be getting that answer is uh, multi, uh, subtracted by cf you will be getting the answer 32 here okay now we have got three values ssc ssr sst subtract them we will be getting a sse value substitute these values in this table here we'll be having between rows another new term here first it was uh, just two one but here we'll be having three between column between rows now in between column we'll have ssc in between rows we'll have ssr residual we'll have sse sst we are not taking here okay so degrees of freedom c how many columns were there there were three columns so three minus one rows were four so four minus one C minus 1 into 4 minus 1, uh, that will be getting as uh, 3 minus 1 into 4 minus 1 means these two terms multiplied, that answer will be writing here. And SSC, SSR, SSC, just uh, substitute this values from the top and divide this by this, divide this by this, divide this by this, we'll be getting three more answers here. We'll find out FC and FR. FC will calculate dividing MSC by MSE and FR will calculate dividing MSR by MSE. Okay, so we'll get two values here these values will compare with the given one so fc value was given to us which is f2 comma 6 5.14 4 is less than that accept it next is fr 6 and uh, f36 4.76 6 is greater rejected okay so c is accepted and r is rejected okay r is rejected
now we'll be uh, looking uh, having a look into the latin square design okay just remember the steps analyze and interpret the following statistics concerning the output of a wheat for a field obtained as a result of experiment conducted to the test of four varieties of wheat how many varieties are there four variety of wheat a b c d under the latin square design now they are specifically mentioned latin square design and uh, you'll be able to identify in this way only okay now they have given this data okay so for C, B, A, and D, this data is given, and A, D, C, B, like this only the question will be given, and the values will also be given. First step, calculate the sum of the each row. Okay. After you have calculated the sum of each row, note down here. Next, calculate the average of table. What do you mean by average of table? How many numbers you can see here? There are totally 16 numbers. Add them all and divide by 16. You'll be getting an answer equivalent to 19.5. Uh, we'll uh, estimate it and take it to 20. This value you have to calculate average value. Now this value will be subtracted from each of these uh, cells. Okay, means 25 minus 20 and uh, next 23 minus 20, 20 minus 20, 20 minus 20, 19 minus 20 and so on. So we will fill another table here with those values. Okay, after that add up this and write the value here. Add up this, write the value here. Add up this, write the value here. Add up this, write the value here. Now add up this and write the value here add up this write the value here and this one and this one here and here square them and write those squares here and here okay and these values will be getting a summation of t keep it as such okay you got what we need to do first calculate the uh, row sums here okay after that find out the average of the table subtract each of the cell with the average calculate the summation of the rows and each column square them and keep and uh, find out the summation of this t value okay now we will calculate the square of the table here we have 5 and we'll square it it will become 25 this will become 9 this is 0 this is 0 minus 1 will become 1 and so on that squares we will write here okay and we'll add up those squares each uh, column wise we'll be getting these answers add up these answers you'll be getting one answer that you keep here okay now the formulas cf t square by n as always t was minus 12 t square is equal to to uh, one uh, um, what is 12 square 144 okay so t uh, summation of t is this one so t square will be equal to minus 12 square by uh, 16 that will be equal to 9 now you have to calculate a new term here which is tss okay tss means total sum of squares now total sum of square is equal to this value okay which i calculated squaring each cell adding up all those i will get 122 122 minus this uh, value which we just calculated cf okay 122 minus cf is equal to tss that will be 113 summation of the rows the same as the previous one ti square that will be equal to what is ti ti in this case we have the 64 9 and 100 149 uh, and 49 where we got that from we got that from here okay these values t square t1 square t2 square t3 square t4 square 64 900 and uh, 49 that one divided by xi value xi value is nothing but 4 because we have four observations right four observations we have so a b c d four observations so we'll be dividing it with that and subtracting it with uh, cf value which is t square by 9 t square by n okay and n value here it is um, 16 because 16 uh, observations are there in total now we'll get ssr value same thing for columns also here we will be calculating pi square minus p square by n pi square is what pi square we have calculated here this is the columns uh, square summation these values we will add divided by 4 subtract it with t square by n okay p square by n we will be getting p square or t square by n both are same only 49 by 4 we will get uh, i mean uh, 9 value okay p square by n and t square by n both are same why because why because 8 minus 3 minus 10 minus 7 that answer we will get as minus 12 but if you do here also minus 4 minus 1 minus 10 that also will get as same only so this one value and this one value is same only okay why because what is this value this value is nothing but this uh, row sum this row sum this row sum this row sum so all these row sums if we add up together it's actually adding up all the cell values so all the cell values if you do it first this then this that will be same as doing this then this right that will be same so we'll be getting minus 12 only so minus 12 uh, is the value of a uh, minus uh, uh, t or p so uh, t square and p square will be same divided by n so we'll be getting the value of 9 only here 
So when we calculate that, we'll get the value 7.5 here, the sum of column squares. Now you have to create one table where we'll be writing observations. Okay, what do you mean by observations? You have calculated the value of SSC, SSR, and TSS. You have to calculate the value of uh, observations. Now, what is observation? See, in each row we have A, B, and C, and D. In this row, what is the value of A? Zero. Remember this. Uh, a value of A, one, zero, one. Here, thirty-six. Zero, one, thirty-six, and twenty-five. Zero, one, thirty-six, and twenty-five. We have. Okay. Zero, one, thirty-six, and twenty-five. If we calculate the square roots. Okay. Square roots will be getting zero minus one minus six minus five. Now, why we have taken minus? So this is actually referring to the previous table than this, which is this table. In this table, what we have a as zero here, a as minus one, a as minus six, and a as minus five here. Those values are taken for each uh, letter. We will be taking those values. Okay. What was the values of a in each row? What was the value of b in each row? What is the value of c in each row? And what is the value of d in each row? After we do that, calculate the sum and keep it here. Okay. All these sums will calculate and keep it here and square it. Okay, now we have the value of Q square. Now to find the sum of treatments, here it is two way, right? So the second part starts from here. Okay, this is the second part. Here we have to find out the sum of treatments or SST. Okay, here it will be Q square divided by four means 144 by four plus one by four plus 36 by four plus 49 by four. This one by four plus this one by four plus this one by four plus this one by four minus T square by n. This will remain same. That will be minus nine. We have got the value of SST also. Now we have found out all the values which are required. We have to find the value of SSE, TSS minus SSR minus SSC minus SST. We will be getting a value 10.5. Okay, that is the value of SSE. Here we will have three things: rows, columns, and treat uh, treatments. Okay, just ignore this one total. Okay, just ignore this one. Here we will have rows. How many rows were there? Four. Four minus one, three. So degree of freedom is three. Columns were four. Four minus one, three. Treatments were also four. Four minus one, three. Error will be C minus one into C minus two. Okay, what is C minus one? C minus one is three. C minus two is two. So three into two is six. SS value, SSR value, you put SSC, SST value which you got, SSE value which you got. MSR will calculate. Divide forty six point five by three. Divide seven point five by three. Divide forty eight point five by three. Divide ten point five by six. We will get these values here. Now we have to calculate the F values. F values will be nothing but MSR by MSE, MSC by MSE, MST by MSE. We'll substitute those values and calculate it here. Individually, we'll be, uh, we'll be comparing. So we have uh, given in the question the value of F here, F3 or 6. 8.85 is greater than the F value here. In the question, whatever the F value they had given, that was uh, smaller and 8.85 is greater. So this hypothesis is rejected for this particular row. And for uh, the column, H0 is accepted. Why? Because 1.42 we got. It is less than the value which they had given. One and uh, nine point two is here. The value which they are given that is greater. Okay, so here H uh, not is rejected. Uh, I mean the value which we have got is greater. The value which they had given was lesser. So H not will be rejected here. Okay, so that's all. You have to find out these three conclusions in Latin square design. Okay, that's all. If you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. It helps to make more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.